Oh, look what we have here. kind of up in the air on what color I'm going to do this, but I've got something in mind that I want to try. I want, I've never used flat black covering. Port. Rear or trailing edge. I've never used flat black. I don't know how it's going to work. I'm 
lot of uh, these coverings, especially the darker colors, will scratch. You gotta be real careful when uh, you're working with them with the heat guns and such. It's always good to keep a brand new sock or two around. And at five dollars that can get a little expensive, so what I've done in the past, of course I don't have grandkids the right age anymore, so I have to actually go buy them instead of stealing them. But I use socks, the little white 100% cotton socks, because the elastic will hold it on the heat gun. And, uh, well, they used to be free. Now they cost money because I'm actually going to buy them. My grandkids are too large. When I seen this plane, I seen it had decent servos on it. And, uh, really nice hardware. There's a string on here. Make my life easier, which I can do this later because this is an open, it's not a foam core wing. I want to show you something here somebody has done. Really cool trick. Somebody had glued a little piece of wood in here and what it does is it keeps that from going back up in there and see to, to widen this up to put a little zip tie around. It's a really smart idea. But we've got to break that out to be able to get it back through. Now the glue is just released on this. Oh, we got a lot of work to do here. A lot of work. So, we're very fortunate that not sticking. Let's see, you'll get this here. So, I believe, and I always get it wrong. You know, one of them, one of them has glue in the. Uh, sorry, I'm focusing here. One of them has the, the color is in the glue. The other one, the color is in the actual plastic, so when you go to take this apart, depending on how much heat it is, sometimes it'll leave a lot of that color behind, and that can be very problematic for a recover, unless you're going darker color. If you go a darker color, it's not as bad, simply because it won't show through. But if you have like a dark red and then you want to go with a white, you can get it. It's going to go through. Adding a little bit of heat here will help. Hopefully, so it won't leave as much of the color behind. Taking your time now will save you a lot of time in the future. Just kind of let the weight of the wing.
still a possibility that this plane may be too far gone to fix. We'll just have to look at the structure real close and see what all it is that we may or may not need to replace. One thing about covering, it's always helpful if you've got a friend, because doing it with four hands is a lot easier than doing it with two. everywhere, or good color everywhere, so have you a bag around to put it in real quick. Here's the third dollar. Cut straight up from those hinges. Good. What does not look good, if you can see that, is the balsa sheeting is shot. So we're going to have to resheet most, if not all, of this wing. careful too when you're working around some of this stuff. You don't know what kind of funky diseases these little mice and bugs and stuff that get in some of these damn planes might be carrying with them. Let's see here. Get this off my table real quick. There we go. That's one almost down. Now we need to look at how we're going to handle the roll bar hinges. I'm trying to, it looks like they used the uh, Gorilla Glue. what to do and they use Gorilla Glue. I used to have a tool that was a vibrator. It would vibrate like 40,000 RPM. The thing would rattle your eyes. And uh, I would vibrate. If the glue was hard, I could vibrate. Just put it on the end and vibrate and it would with a little pressure and sometimes they would vibrate loose. This stuff here is still kind of pliable. So really about the only thing we can do is try to twist it. See if it'll break loose. Which I don't think is going to work. We may end up having to cut and drill them out. No big deal. Just one more thing to do in the, when we re 
building. Okay, so one down, another wing, and a fuselage to go. I'm going to stop the video now, and uh, I'll be back with you here in a little bit. show you that most times the uh, glue that's holding these little blocks in will come out pretty easy you always want to save them but little bitty fast wraps will usually shock them free sometimes you'll get lucky and uh, like I did here on this middle one and uh, the little guy will come out This wing is going to need a lot of work, and I'm pretty sure that this one over here is going to be the same. Uh, so let's talk color real quick. Uh, I don't know what it is about RC airplane colors and design, but they sure do seem to have a pattern being all kind of the same. I, this is just my opinion. It just seems to me that, you know, there's very few. Uh, let's uh, name a few. Like the Prometheus or the P3. Now that was a cool looking plane. It had planes on it and all that. You know, but these plane manufacturers, they got everything in place. They got the logistics, the manufacturing, the warehousing, uh, distribution, all that stuff. 
everything's you know in place and it gets down to doing the colors and they do the same thing on all of them i mean it's a couple of square blocks here starburst this that or the other it just kind of to me it gets boring and because of it i've always kind of done some kind of crazy stuff when it comes to covering planes using weird colors, teals, carbon fibers, uh, just because of the ease of working with it, of course now I know it's not as light as uh, Monaco or some of the other covering films, but that uh, vinyl that uh, you can buy online is just so easy to work with. After you get your face color down, spray it down with a little soapy water, cut your designs out, you slide that stuff around, get it in place, and squeegee it out, and you're done. And if you don't like it, you can peel it off and uh, start over, you know? I'm trying to get that dead gum really cool out there. So, we still have to knock these out here, and if you're unable to do that, the way I, I did the first one because you know this isn't as strong so we'll probably have to go with a little bit more conventional way with uh, starting with a small drill bit in the center and just working working my way to, to get all that plastic out there. What is all that grunting going on? Well, I'll show you. This is why I'm excited about this project. We've got some, we've got some uh, structural issues here. Cosmetic structure, let's say. We'll call it cosmetic structure. Because the old plane feels solid. I 
That wasn't hard, was it? And my arthritis is really picking on me today. if I could get that elevator off of there. Sometimes it's better to take that stuff apart if you can. Sometimes even if you have to cut it off simply because uh, you can really inspect what's going on with the structure. Make sure that it's not going to, after all your hard work, it's not going to come apart in gear. Be real careful to preserve your windows. Which, that's going to be another hurdle to get over. Because those really need to come out to uh, recover this thing. But I'm kind of eager to let you see this thing in the bones. I wish you could see everything I'm seeing. Because it is n -n 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 nasty. One of my favorite planes is a rescue. I got it, it came to me in a five gallon bucket. It had been passed around. And everybody seen them. Then it was a nice plane, but nobody wanted to take on the work. I did two of them actually. One of them was the uh, ultralight ultimate stick. Oh, look what we have here. Look what we have here. <laughs> look at this mess we got here. So I'm hoping you're seeing this. This is, uh, I'm hoping we're recording. I'm going to reach up in here, hope nothing comes out still alive. I don't think so. It's been sitting around here a minute. Man, somebody had been doing some work. And I can tell you exactly what this is. This is cushion out of a wing bag. That's exactly what that is. Yeah, I don't want to get any of that crap on my hands. Now look, I'm a country boy, but I don't like rats. I don't like mice and rats rodents they got their place on this planet and uh, I'm gonna let them have it they got their spot I got mine I'm gonna stay out of theirs and I want them to stay out of mine right now our paths have crossed I want to get it out of here as quick as possible because that is just funky nasty we got a lot of stripping to do here guys boys and girls. Look at that. A little bit of cosmetic structure damage there. I don't know what. Looks like somebody can't tell what's going on here with this thing. 
definitely some type of a repair. Ooh, they have screwed the door shut. The landlord has screwed the doors shut. And of course, it is not going to be the size I've got out on the table. So maybe that's what we need to name this, is Home of the Rectone. What do you think? we got parts here. Oh, there's the, uh, that looks like the wing clips and stuff. A couple extra little goodies. And see, this is why I was kind of, you know, jammed about this thing, if you can see in here. So, it's got the clear tank. I don't know if I can get you over there with all this tether. It's got the clear tank, it's got uh, the RXL kill module, it's got an AR7000 with satellite which is, you know, decent older radio and I uh, still hadn't really figured out what we got going on here as a motor, but it looks... Oh, wait a minute. No, it's not a DA. It's... I uh, better not call it out, man, because I want you to see it. You know? I want it to be a surprise. It's got to be a surprise! slow and can't find the right Allen. I've got a really super nice set of Allen tools. But I still use this thing more than I think we've all got one of those now if you notice the popular ones the the paint is all rubbed off on them now if y'all been keeping up with us I started another old plane here the other day it's a Yak 54 sitting over there I didn't check the that's gonna I didn't check the bolts good enough, and what happened was the, uh, the dead gum prop blew off of it. And uh, between the prop, the prop hub, and the bolts, it's about a hundred dollars worth of oversight on my part. You should never, ever, ever start one of those big motors like that without really making sure everything's torqued down right. It looks like one of the bolts on the out of the six was loose, is what it looks like, and uh, it looks like the culprit. And uh, because of it, I cost myself a hundred dollar bill with those big twins, one hundreds, one fifties. You know, even though they've got those six bolts on there, man, you can have one of them just loose. And it will start a chain reaction. I guess some kind of. I'd love to have that on high-speed camera and watch what what happens, what actually happens, because it 
pulled three of them out and sheared the rest of them off. All right. Oop. A little saber there. So it looks like we've got a uh, bracing. Two point four, which is just a beast of a motor. Just a beast of a motor. And it's got good compression, but you can't wear these dead gum things out. Look at here. Look at all I got here. It's a life battery. Just for giggles. Don't know how this how long this thing's been sitting. Honestly, there's negative. <laughs> Six point five eight. So it's full. Wow. Give it up for a good life battery, huh? Okay, folks. Well, that's it. I got a lot of work to do. I'm going to strip the rest of this damn thing down, and uh, I will let you all know uh, a little bit more as I, as I get into it and get her done. I'll stop and share some more video and uh, let you know how the project. Oh, before we go. So, what I'm thinking here is flat black with green art um i asked somebody i think on flying giants rc groups if anybody had worked with the covering before if you have let me know because i haven't i don't know like i said the black scratch is really easy when you're putting it on and when you do large amounts of coverage with it you know usually it doesn't look too well you know in my experience however um the flat black looks really cool I was thinking about doing the uh, the windows, paint them in gray uh, and flat black. This one I seen. Hold on one sec. The one I seen online was a, a 540, and it was flat black on top, white on bottom, and they had that green Monster Energy John. I don't care about it. I, don't, I'm, I hate advertising for people that don't do anything for me, but. Uh, I do like the, uh, the the white on bottom and black on top, or flat black on top, with the apple green art. That's what I was planning on doing. I don't know if I should just do the whole thing in flat black, so um, send in your ideas, what you think might look good, and uh, uh, you never know, I may use one. And uh, But I, think, I do think, if you can imagine that uh, flat black with that apple green or Kawasaki green on top of it, man, for, for the artwork. I think it would look super, sh super sharp. So anyway, I yak at y'all later.